Finally, I want to say this. If you want to touch passion, passion goes beyond family and friends, but it's usually about relationships. It's certainly about causes. You will learn more about the key people in your team and your firm by asking them one question as a team member over a glass of wine. And you'll learn more in three minutes than you'll learn in 30 years. And the question is simply this. Tell me about the thing, I would couch it in a more subtle way, okay? Tell me about the things you do for nothing rather than the things you do because you're paid. So the things that you don't do for your family, you don't do it for your friends, but you do it for nothing, for something or some cause somewhere. And it might be that, um, oh, I don't know, you do the accounts for a, a Zimbabwean orphanage. It might be that you visit, visit people in hospital. It might be that you help out the, the scouts or the... Uh, or the um, or, the, or, it's, it's, or you're a school governor. It might be that um, uh, it might be that you you uh, you work help out in your local church as I do. It might be that you you what you do is you clear the snow from outside your neighbour's house every every winter because last year she broke her hip on the ice and you don't want that to happen again. Um, it might be that you say, well, I'm too busy. I'm embarrassed to answer that question. I have outsourced it though. I give a lot of money away instead. <laughs> But next year I'll be back, or when I retire I'll be doing it. And I did it when I was, you know, I worked for Oxfam for a year in my gap year, and I, I did volunteer work as a student. Actually, I'm interested to know that answer here. Put your hands up if in the last two years you've given time to something you felt was worthwhile and you didn't get paid a penny for it. Look at that. And every one of you has a story. And those stories will warm my heart, and some of those stories will be intensely personal. Uh, given, imagine there's Jimmy here in the front seat. And I talk to him over, 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 over coffee. And I say, hey, Jimmy, tell me about yourself. Your hand was up. What was that about? And he says, uh, well, he says, um, I, climbed Kil Kilimanjaro, I climbed Kilimanjaro with a whole load of yobbos who got thrown out of school and excluded for all kinds of reasons. I took them to Kilimanjaro. We climbed a mountain and we raised 10,000 pounds for breast cancer. What am I thinking? There's two stories. There's, there's a fascinating story about people who've been excluded, and I want to know, and now we'll find out that he was excluded when he was a child. But someone believed in him and coached him, brought him back from the brink even when he was in foster care. As a result, he went to university and became a lawyer. But he wants to put something back. But there's another story. And for this one, I'm not going to ask a question because I can see it already. Because he's crying. He's not overtly crying, but he's crying inside. I can see it on his face. And then as I pause and I nod, I know it will come. Then he tells me the rest of his story. His wife died of breast cancer 18 months ago. Six months before she died, they diagnosed that she had a very malignant, genetically programmed cancer, which meant that her daughters were also at risk. They have two beautiful daughters, 22 and 20, both of them not married, uh, all of life before them. And both of them have the same gene, and they discovered, they discovered that uh, they had to respond to that and both of them had their best removed. I tell you I know more about him in three minutes than I will know in 30 years working with him in one of your offices. I know what he wants to be remembered for at his funeral. I know what the most important things are in his life. I know the passions he really has and I now know some of the reasons that will keep him in the job. And you will find as we get close to the stories of each of the people that you work with, each of them has passions. Each of them has particular issues or concerns, challenges, opportunities. They have trigger points, things which they find incredibly exciting about work, working for you and some things they find incredibly annoying and frustrating. And as we come close to the people we look after and we put our arms up emotionally, metaphorically around them as we hope that people look, put their arms around us, not physically around us, but just as human beings to embrace us that say well, I'm more than the legal advice that I give that we'll discover new ways to motivate people fresh ways to relate to each other as teams 
will discover ways to help them to feel that engage with us, that we understand who they are, we understand where they're coming from, we're willing to organise and reorganise however they wish to work, even if it's with a reduced number of clients or different kind of workload, to make it work for them. Because we're committed to them, they're committed to us, and the most important thing is that the right client has the most wonderful experience every single time, and what role can you play in helping to build that future? Now, when we have that, I promise you, we have a different kind of firm. If you connect with all the passions people have, they will follow you to the ends of the earth. They will seek your advice and promote your services to friends. And I promise you too, if it's true for your team members, it's true for your clients. Every one of them has a story. Every one of them has passions. And when you can connect with them as a human being, and when they can see a window into your own soul and discover the passions which you have, and discover the fire that's in your heart, then you will find that you have a trust, a level of trust with the client that will go far beyond anything you could ever have imagined and will take you through and provide some kind of protection against some of these whirlwinds of other things which will otherwise take your business away. In fact, it's the greatest defense against many of the other things we've talked about. It's building relationship, trust, and it's all based, as I said, ultimately on emotion.